folks, a championship edition here, a Stanley Cup championship edition here of Krantz's Corner. And I have a great guest coming on right now. If you're watching the video, you already see him. If you're listening on the radio, you're going to hear him in just a second. Billy Lindsay, former Panthers forward, current Panthers radio color analyst, was on the call last night to see history made in Sunrise. Billy, first off, welcome to Krantz's Corner. And oh my goodness, the Florida Panthers have won the Stanley Cup. Holy moly, what's going on in this world right now? Yeah, can you believe it? Uh, one a, of the epic Stanley, one of the epic Stanley Cup finals, right of all time. Outside of the fact that the Panthers won, I'm excited. I have the jersey on. People are running around the streets, pots and pans in Dade County. We're all over the place. The fact is, if this was any other two teams, we would have said, "What a great Stanley Cup final!" Game seven went down to it. This is great. 3-0, then three straight for the other team. It was unbelievable. How was this roller coaster ride for you calling these games and being around the team? I can't even imagine playing, but you're also calling these games and you're in the midst of all this too. Yeah, it was uh, it was wild. Uh, you're up 3 nothing. You expect everything. I uh, didn't have any nerves for 4 or 5. They started to creep into game 6. After losing game 6, I, I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. It, everything, I waiting for that game to come. It was the nerves that were going through my body. I hadn't experienced since we played Pittsburgh in game seven in the Eastern Conference Finals in 96 because it came down to, to a moment for this Panther franchise that it was going to be the ultimate euphoria or maybe something that you'll never recover from. Right. It, that that was the extreme. There, there was no in, in, in the middle. It was going to be the biggest gut punch that you've ever felt. We're going back to World War II. Right. And there were six teams, 1942, on the verge of that kind of collapse. But this team comes out and played so hard. And Game 7s have a different feel. So for this franchise, this fan base, for myself that's went through it all, that team, that team specifically, the players had to do it. And they were able to come through in the most pressure-packed situation, and up and down that lineup, every single one of those players played the game of their lives, and I could not be more excited or more thrilled. Uh, I probably broke every broadcasting rule at the end of the game. Uh, uh, I owe Doug Pleggins an apology. I was screaming and yelling, and I, I forgot all about decorum and what you're su supposed to do as <laughs> as a, a broad broadcaster uh, calling the Stanley Cup. So. Besides all of that, it's just a, a phenomenal feeling, and what a what a great thing for all of South Florida and our fan base. Absolutely, and for the Panthers fan base. And let me tell you, Billy, uh, I tried to explain to my wife yesterday what you were just talking about. Uh, she's not she's not a big sports fan. She watches when it's on. She was watching all the Panthers games of the in the playoffs because she knows how into it I am. But I just said to her right before the puck dropped last night, I looked at her and I said, "History is going to be made tonight, one way or another." It's either going to be the greatest night in this franchise's history, their first Stanley Cup, this is going to be amazing, or this is going to be one of the worst losses we have ever seen in sports, especially in South Florida sports history. Yeah. And thank goodness we were on the right side of it, not oh. the wrong side of it, you know? Yeah, it was – that's the break that you, you put it into words. Uh, totally, totally right. And to be on the, the side of it, you can go back and look at Stanley Cup finals in the past. You can ask me – who won in 2002? I'm not sure. Right. Uh, this, I remember 2011, Boston Bruins and Vancouver, the riots after and all, all that. There's a, a certain, I messier the night, uh, 94, right. the guarantees. There's uh, certain Stanley Cups that, that stick out into your mind. But with Connor McDavid on the big stage, the Edmonton Oilers coming back to three to nothing, 20 years from now, you're going to ask people about who won the Stanley Cup in 2024. They were going to, oh, that was that. One of the greatest Stanley Cup finals of all time when he had the greatest player on the planet, Connor McDavid, doing everything he had going against the Florida Panthers, and they chased him down. And the Panthers are going to be on the right side of this history, which makes it just that 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 much uh, a sweeter. So the fan base, a lot of everyone was counting this out, this team, the mental fortitude that they have in that dressing room and the guts that they displayed last night. This, this whole South Florida area should be in – incredibly incredibly proud of that that panther team and what they were able to do in the fan base thank you thank you for all your support
Yeah, fan base was unbelievable during this run. Actually, the last couple of years, as the fan base jumping back in from the President's Cup year, losing in that first round, which stunk, but getting to the Stanley Cup Finals last year and then tasting it, but not, and losing, but coming back this year and getting to the peak, that was unbelievable. And by the way, Billy, just between me and you, I don't care. Let people rip you all they want. I love the call because of the fact that I felt the emotion in the call. I also ripped my old partner in crime, Joe Rose, when he was jumping all over when they won that first game at that, that season, they almost won 0 and 16 and he went great. Just there's certain times where you can't hold back. And Billy, you've been with this team since basically day negative one, you know, you've been here since forever. You were the, yeah. and, and the only unfortunate part, which is I guess good and bad. Your highlight now is number two. Instead of number yeah, one, as the, right, I was just about to say. I had my, we had our moment. We built it up. <laughs> I had my moment in the sun. Right. Uh, we built it up. We started it. And right. to come at full circle. And yesterday was 31 years to the date of the expansion draft. Incredible. That they originally drafted that original team. So to come full circle, I don't know if you believe in kind of karma or whatever that is. So those original players were put on. We built something up. I'll have my moments. That'll stick with me. That team right. will be with me forever. They can't take that away. No. But as far as rooting for this this franchise and everything going forward, I, I you want them to win. Uh, it's been in my blood. Uh, this community has meant so much to me over the years. The fans have become my friends. Uh, that's where the emotion just 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 came pouring out. Uh, so we had our moment, and that Fred Shir Shiro quote is the truest uh, quotes of all. Uh, you win today, we walk together forever. That's right. And that is this, fan, this that's this Panther team. Lore will be forever inked in Panther history. You get these guys together 20 years down the road, they can pick up right where they left off. They right. they will have a bond that will last a lifetime and they will be ever forever remembered as the first and only threat at this point. Panthers Stanley Cup champions. That sounds nice. Incredible. Billy, when you say it, it makes me smile. Randy Moeller came on with me before game seven, before the puck dropped and, and said that quote to me. Uh, and I literally got goosebumps. I was like, God, I'm like, this is, that is the only thing that Paul Marie should walk in that locker room and say before the game and then walk right out. Like he's upset, like just walk out. The, Cause when Randy yeah. said it to me, I was ready to run through a wall in my, uh, you know, my wife would kill me, but I'd run through a wall in my office. Cause I was just jacked up about it. And now hearing you say it after they actually win it. What a tremendous quote. What a tremendous night for this franchise. And Billy, I know you've been around here forever between Vinny and Doug and bringing in Bill Zito and bringing in Paul Maurice. What a change of everything from the top to get where they are now in this last, you know, within this last decade or so. Just all the changes, big changes, trading star players. How is it going to work out? Well, I'll tell you what, everything has worked out from Vinny and Doug and that ownership all the way down to, to the to the guy helping clean up the popcorn last night when everybody left. It is incredible what this franchise has turned into. Yeah, you got to give cr full credit to uh, Mr. Viola coming in here willing to spend the resources, put Bill Zito in place, uh, Paul Maurice, the coaching staff, the changes, and said, here, you, all, you got all the funds. You can do whatever you want with it. Just uh, do it right. <laughs> right, and they, right, right. They, did, they, they did that. And it's organizationally. This is the first time since Mr. Huizinga and the team. No discredit. I loved all our ownerships. Right. But this is the first time that Mr. Huizinga, or since Mr. Huizinga, that Mr. Viola was able to put into a structure organizationally from all the way from him to the, the uh, people in the office, to the training staff, all across the board, where everyone knows their role, feels part of the family. And once you get that family type feeling, it goes all the way down into the dressing room. The players ultimately have to perform on the ice. But that's, that's what it takes uh, to win a Stanley Cup. You have to have an organization put together all the way through that, that feels completely. Once you get that, everyone is so laser focused to do their jobs the best that they they can to their ability it just elevates everyone around them and one final note uh for paul maurice 26 years what if that went any different for him last night it would have been crushing right i could not be happier for a human being than paul maurice when he you could see it wasn't so much joy when he grabbed that cup you could see the relief right that was the 26 right. years of just 
letting it go. Uh, so from Mr. Viola, you're right, and right down to Paul Murray's Kiss in that Cup, some of the greatest things you'll ever experience in sports. Right. All right, last one here, and I'm going to let you go. Billy Lindsay here with us on Francis Corner after last night's unbelievable win in the Stanley Cup final. You know who I felt good for last night also? I, I felt good for the whole organization, but specifically Barkov last night. I felt great yeah. for him. Aaron Ekblad has been with this team for a long time. And because of the fact that there's so much scrutiny and he's the one guy that either is going to get the blame or the credit for almost everyone, Bobrovsky and the way he played last night in the game well, seven, those three guys specifically to me, I felt really, I felt good for all. I felt good for you, for Plagans, for the engineers in the booth with you. I felt good for everybody, but those three guys specifically afterwards, I went, wow, what a relief for these three guys been around here for a long time. We're signed to that monster deal that people were scrutinizing in Bobrovsky when he came here. And yet now they're hoisting the Stanley Cup. Those three guys were unbelievable. They were. Uh, and B Bobrovsky, it goes from those first three years being one of the worst contracts in the NHL. Like, how do we get through this? Right. Uh, to the last couple of years, the best contract in the NHL. Uh, punched his ticket to the Hall of Fame last night. Absolutely. The Hall of Fame. Two Vesna trophies, Stanley Cup champion. Sergey Bobrovsky's in the Hall. Uh, Paul Maurice is going in the Hall of Fame, too. Should. After, with his coaching career. So you got two Hall of Famers last night. With that Stanley Cup, Bark off the captain, the leadership, Ekblad had some down years to be able to fight through that, continue on, and just persevere. It shows their perseverance. Right. And when their backs were, were against the ball, Barkoff against McDavid last night, wasn't on the score sheet, shutting their guy down. You see why he's won the Selkie Trophy. For right. Broski, big saves at key moments, dialed in, locked in. Uh, those, those are the players that you need at the end of the day. You need your superstars and, and players that have been around to kind of lead and set the tone and be the example. And all those players were. And at the end, uh, that's, that's, what it, that's what has to be ingrained into a franchise to, to hoist, hoist that Stanley Cup. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. It's still it's still almost oh. not you know. I still almost don't believe it. You know, like I I, I still yeah. see people on it's social surreal. media. Right, it's it's surreal. And this morning I see videos of it. Looks like all the dudes. It's uh, they're probably all at like Kachuk's house on the water in Fort Lauderdale, hoisting the Stanley Cup. People are driving by on boats. It's an incredible scene all over South Florida right now. Cannot wait for the parade coming up here in a couple of days. That's going to be incredible in South Florida as well, Billy. I'm going to let you go. I can't thank you enough for your time this morning. What a night you had last night. What a season. And by the way, I think one of the broadcasters on TV said it was like the longest NHL season ever. I think start yeah. to finish. So take a couple. I'm you know, it. Right, I'm sure. After that parade is done, shut that phone off. You've already talked to me. You're good to go. Uh, and shut it off for about a month so you could relax and enjoy all this. You totally deserve it. And don't let anyone fret on your call last night. I got your back. I loved it. It's in the annals of the history of South Florida radio and big plays. You and your emotions last night. Doug will be fine. We'll talk to Doug later. We'll talk him off the ledge if we need to. But thank you, Billy, for everything from being a player in this franchise to last night. Get feeling it all for the fans as well, because it was awesome. What a great, I'm still feeling, I still have the goosebumps from last night. Well, to you, Zach, and all the fans out there, this is love and sign language. Uh, love, nothing but love for everyone that supported us. Uh, and me and the fan base and all the media, everyone that's been behind us and rocking us. Uh, uh, longest season I'm, sp I'm spent emotionally. And, I know. Uh, I'm drained, but... <laughs> There is nothing but love in my heart uh, for this team and everyone out there. So from deeply from the bottom, I got um, again, emotional again, but thank you. It's, it's the world. We are, we, we, we've done it. We've reached the pinnacle Stanley cup champions. I can't believe I'm saying it. Thank you. Zach. Either can I Billy. And I'm glad you did it. Go, go do anything you want right now. You have a free ticket anywhere you want at this point. Thanks for coming on Crancis corner. This has been a Stanley cup championship edition the first ever here in Crancis corner with my guy billy Lindsay. enjoy it south florida and the rest of the nhl world take it we're the champions down here in sunrise florida billy thanks again we'll talk to you soon like i said stanley cup edition of Crancis corner with the one and only billy Lindsay.